Jay Barber, here I am at Avatar's abode in Barber's house and I'm looking into Barber's room where in 1958 he stayed. He met in this house with his lovers. This section back here was curtained off for Mundley, who accompanied Barbara in 1958. This is where they slept. My name's Bernard Bruford. I was fortunate, very fortunate, to be one of the ones who met with Barbara here in 1958. And I also met with Barbara in 1956 in both Sydney and Melbourne. I've been asked to give this little talk specifically about my reactions and memory of, in 1956, Francis led a group performing before Barber his play, the play he had written called The Quest. And then I thought I'll just enlarge that topic without asking with Michael uh, beforehand, I thought I'd tell the story of how there's been several occasions when I was young, meeting Barber, in 1956 I was 13, two years older in 58, how in retrospect I come to realise, well, I was aware of this over many years, I haven't just recently come to realise how raw and immature I was in my appreciation of the fact that God in human form was amongst us, the very concept of the being God, of God-man, of Avatar. Yes, I knew the words and I could say that, but I had no appreciation of service to God-man or love for God-man. They were just parts of my life. And a couple of incidences just made me very aware of just how immature I was. And the first one of these was witnessing the quest. Now there's some things in one's life, something happens, might be when you heard someone had died or assassinated, something like that, where you can, you know exactly where you were and what you were doing. And that's how it was for me with the quest. In that it had been performed by amateurs. Francis, in his performance, and I knew Francis pretty well, he was my godfather. He'd often stayed in the 1940s and 50s in our house in Melbourne. He, for this performance, took on a, a, a character, a, 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 uh, displayed attributes which I had never seen before in my life. The sincerity, the humility. Francis wrote the play. He knew his lines as the seeker. And the, amongst the other performers, there were some very amateurish uh, performances which contrasted so much with Francis. But Francis was a side of him I'd never seen. I remember that very clearly. And then at the end, Barber makes it clear in communications through Erich how happy he was, pleased, and said words that to me implied that because Barber had been made, was so happy with this, he was going to give Francis a reward. Reward is not a word that was used, but that's how I had internalised, oh, I wonder what it's going to be. And so here we've got in the main room of Mayer House in Sydney at Beacon Hill, the suburb of Beacon Hill, in what's known as the big room, Barber sitting on his bed, which had been 
positioned into the middle of the room facing the eastern wall. He was sitting there. On the eastern wall there was a mural that had been uh, done by Francis Lee, a theme of creation, different animals, I think about six by eight feet, something like that in size, and no stage props that I can recall. And Francis at the end goes up towards Barber and Barber through Erich's uh, saying words to the effect of, this is your reward. And it just knocked me for six. It was what I could describe as a prison sentence. He was to spend four weeks in isolation in a locked, in an enclosed room, not to leave it, with little light. Uh, he was no more than a pint of milk a day, which you could have with tea or coffee. There was to be arrangements for someone to bring the milk and take his toilet away. There were logistics involved there. They, I can't remember if they were all discussed in front of Barber, but he was, I'm not quite sure, but like he wasn't to read, but I'm pretty sure one of the instructions was that during his waking hours he was to repeat Barber's name. I'm not 100% positive on that. But this is, this is worse than judges giving courts to criminals. Like it was pretty heavy duty stuff and it knocked me for six. I can remember it all. I can remember where I was sitting. Like it had such an impact. But what it had even more impact is straight after Francis, before Barber, in the most humble way, I can remember his head on the angle, his hands together, and he says, thank you, Barber, and then bows down in front of him. I knew I knew nothing about this Mayor Barber is God business. It was just... Uh, it was uh, things on a different level to anything I'd ever comprehended.